Hey everybody, welcome back. What we're going to be doing today is a demo of Cloud Tasks. And like Cloud Scheduler, we are going to be focusing on the quick start that is available in the Google Cloud documentation, which is the most up-to-date, like with the other things I've experienced. <laughs> um, I have some issues with the existing code labs that are out there. So basically what we're going to be doing here is we will be getting a Python script up and running, and we're going to add it as a cloud task to be processed. Now I've got some information in our post about the differences between scheduler and tasks. Um, basically, do you want something to be scheduled repeatedly to be run over time? That's cloud scheduler. That is your cron job, basically. If you want something to be added to a queue for execution, meaning Let's just run this as a one-off thing. That's Cloud Tasks. To me, this is the difference between cron and at, if you are a um, sysadmin type of person. Do you want it to run more than once? Do you want it to run just once? Um, so we're going to focus on Cloud Tasks here. And I'm going to walk you through the whole process just so that we get a you know, kind of a good feel for these things again, because this one involves a Python script that we're going to be kicking off, meaning that we need a service account, meaning we need a key to run that. I'm going to be doing it through Cloud Shell, but you could just as easily run this from a local terminal as well. So let's flip over. There we go. I have enabled App Engine. I have enabled Cloud Tasks, and I'm in the process of creating a service account right now. This is where we are at. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get that up and running. Now, let's see, we need the service account. So this is where we're at here. I'm going to create our service account. Let's minimize this. And I'm just going to full access to, again, very lazy pick here. We should just give this the access that it needs, but we're going to uh, just make sure that it works. OK, uh, that's good. We have our demo here. We're going to get a. API, or sorry, we want to generate a key for this person. Create a new key, JSON. All right, it's downloaded. Let's go ahead and upload it here. Uh, do, 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 upload file. Honestly, shouldn't even need to do this, but we'll do it just in case. Basically, if I am in Cloud Shell running these commands, I have this access already, but I kind of want to show you going through this process as well. All right, so we have gcloud installed because we're in the Cloud Shell. If you don't download the SDK, uh, sorry, the Cloud SDK, then you get gcloud locally. Um, what we're going to be doing is pulling down a Python script. So basically, this is an App Engine uh, simple demo. So I'm going to leave this over here so that I have two things up at once. And let's go ahead and make dir tasks demo. Let's go in there because, again, I have way too much junk in my folder. Let's clone this repository down. Probably the millionth time that I've cloned this into my cloud shell. So we want to go into App Engine Flexible Tasks. All right. And if we look at what's in here, we see some YAML files. We see some Python scripts, requirements. Um, a Docker file, meaning that this is containerized, and life is good so far. So let's go ahead and add the requirements that we need. Install requirements.txt. Fine, let's use pip3. So we can use Python 3. If I were doing this locally on my computer, it'd be Python 3-m pip install. So basically what we got here is we installed Google Cloud Tasks. We installed, uh, I don't know if this is Gunicorn or Gunicorn, G-Unicorn, regardless. Um, it's a helpful package for us. OK, so we have, oops, sorry about that. Make sure I didn't break my stream. There we go. OK. Create this out. Let's go ahead and deploy it now. G Cloud app deploy. Before we deploy it, let's take a peek at what's inside main.py just so that we see what's going on. Because, I mean, I know what's going on in here, but it's helpful to show you 
And I'd recommend always checking what's inside your script before you deploy it to the world. Basically, what we have going on here is a Flask web application. So we are getting a hello world. So let's change this to hello world CS680 yeah, to make sure that we're actually serving something. Running in port 8080, we can handle a task payload that you see here. Pretty bare bones website though. So let's go ahead and deploy this. Yes, we want to continue. I find it interesting that sometimes the uppercase Y is triggered as default and sometimes it's not. But pretty straightforward here. Again, if you did the app engine work, nothing earth shattering. We're just deploying an app up to app engine so that we can publicly access this thing. And since it is a Flask application, you know, we can uh, we can be happy that it's going to serve us a little web page. Um, so while this is going, let's uh, let's try something out for funsy. So this is tasks demo, and we're in Python docs, app engine, flexible tasks. We go Python three main. Yes. So if we preview it, hello there, CI six eighty. So again, I just ran Python in the main. And if you've been doing any of those like Spring Boot applications so far, which I've been having you do, effectively it's the exact same demo. It's just in Python here. So I'm going to go ahead and close off this tab. OK, so we are still updating. Right, what's going to happen next is we are going to start using Cloud Tasks. And again, this is a queue-based system, meaning that we're going to add a task to the queue. The queue will be processed kind of in order. And then, you know, once the job is processed, it's removed from the queue, it's done. Again, a one-off type of thing. Now you can add a whole bunch of tasks to the queue, right? I could serve up this application 500 times and it'd just be run 500 separate times. But again, this is kind of a, you know, similar in notion to a at command where let's schedule something once. So I will be back once this is done updating. OK, so that didn't take too long, honestly, to get up and running. So we now have a app spot URL that we can go to. Let's go ahead and copy this. Just to make sure it works, I would always recommend making sure your thing works that you are deploying. So there we go. Remember, we could version this. We could update it if we need to. Not the purpose of this demo, but we have that there. So. App Engine script up and running. Now let's go ahead and create a task queue. So gcloud tasks queues create my 680 queue. We'll differ queue. -E 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 -E. You're managing queues with gcloud. Do not use queue.yaml or queue.xml in the future. OK, so we have some deprecation going on here, just to be aware of for you all who are going to be the future of the cloud. Keep that in mind. Here's my queue. I see some information here. So it's a push-based queue, so I have to push things up to it. Here's currently zero tasks, zero completed. So there is nothing in here. But you can kind of see the types of parameters that we would set here for our various um, tasks. All right, so it's initialized. We can now describe it. So let's go gcloud tasks queues describe my 680 queue. We'll see the same information that we see up here in the GUI, right? Um, and if you want to, say, tweak these to your needs, you are able to do that as well. You know, if you go into here, you can go ahead and edit it, pause it. I mean, maybe there's a bunch of tasks in there. We can purge it, meaning get rid of all the active tasks. So we have everything we need. Now let's go ahead and set some project variables. So. We shouldn't have this because I'm pretty sure I cleared it out. So yeah, let's go export project ID equals my ID. Export location ID is, and let's go back here and actually let's just describe it again. What's our location? Just US Central 1. Export location ID equals US Central 1. Export Q ID equals my 680 queue. All right, we have our variables we need. 
All right, and if you need that location ID, we can just go gcloud, tasks, locations, list. Again, that's what I just pulled out from the description here as well. And now what we have to do is create our queue task. So if we check this, um, it is create tap engine queue task dot pi. And they're taking all the heavy lifting off of your shoulders, by the way. What you see here is some Pythonic code for creating basically a task that we're going to drop into the queue here. And it's going to be an app engine request. So there's a lot of, you know, kind of basic code in here for doing this. Um, again, the, you can do this in any, pretty much any language you want. In the quick start, there's also C Sharp, Java, PHP, Go, Node.js, and Ruby. So if any of those tickle your fancy, I would recommend playing with that demo. But we are basically just going to create a client, um, render, render, reference our queue, create the task, drop the task into the queue, magic happens. So Python 3, create app engine task.py. And our project is project ID. Our location is location ID. And our queue is queue ID. Payload equals, I'll just go with hello. That's fine. We'll do another task in a moment too. So if we update our queue, we should see, oops, let's not edit. Let's refresh this guy. Tasks completed. We see something has happened. And we can check in the terminal here, terminal G cloud. Cloud shell, let me use the correct terminology. App logs read. Reads, read. Basically, we're just pulling the logs here. Come on. Come on. Let's open up the GUI and see if we can get a quicker response there. Oh, logs are not enabled. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. This is taking longer than I expected it to for a simple queue. Let's open up another window here while we are waiting, patiently waiting. Man. Should monetize this channel. All my videos are over that magical YouTube algorithm mark. Just kidding, it's not monetized. All right, so we see stuff happening here with App Engine at least. Uh, we want to go to App Engine. Actually, we can just see it right there. So, requests. Requests are happening. Why is this taking so long to spin up? You know, let's do another. Let's do another deployment. Payload equals. Hey there, CIS 680. Let's see if quotes work. Task created. Check our logs. Maybe metrics. No data. I have this horrible impatientness with uh, some of these cloud based tools because we should see information here, right? So we do see our task was completed, we should actually see two tasks now, although it's been over a minute. So let's, um, let's go into our queue. We should be getting information here. Okay, there we go. So we do see things happening. Not a whole lot of information, though, in here. Hmm. Can we see our logs now? I would have expected to see information by now. That's kind of why I'm looking befuddled on camera. Q 
Okay, we have our logs, so we know that stuff happened. I was kind of looking for the response, honestly. Okay, so let's go deeper. I mean, I know that you're in there. No data. Okay, here we go. I had to go into the deep, the deep data, the deep logs. So we have created our, our task here. And can we actually see our payload? Nope, no details in here. I guess let's check App Engine. Well, we at least know that they're instantiated. That's that's helpful. I'm honestly just kind of surprised that we don't have more details here. Well, Let's run one more. I find it bizarre that we can't actually see our data here. So this is good to know that the logs are not actually being read. But regardless, we're not really doing anything other than, you know, responding, right? So we have you know, we have information here. It says our log our task was created. Let's do another task just so we can generate some more data. Or are you now just now running? <laughs> okay, so we're running slow. Starting gun according, okay. All right. This is this is good to see here. So we see a status 200 error. I'm probably going to chop this video up a little bit because there's lots of me sitting here staring at the logs like, what's going on here? Well, there was a bit of a delay. This is now a 20-minute video. I'm trying to cut it in half if I can. Here is our receive task with payload, receive task with payload, receive task with payload. We just had a bit of a delay in the task firing off. So tasks work. Um, basically, what we did was we created a, um, you know, a Python script to kick off a task, generic app engine call. You could really have anything get called and run. So with that, I'm just going to delete this project. But for cleanup, what you can also do here is basically, um, you know, delete the queues, delete the tasks. Um, things of that nature. So I'm just going to delete the project for ease of use. But hope this was helpful for you. I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.